All right. Uh, qualifying has wrapped up. We've got our 43 starters for the first round of the Duck Roll Duels here at Moncton Speedway. Let's get going. The Grand Marshal for today's race is about to give the command uh, to get underway. Thanks, the the thanks Kathy Rivers in. from Portland. I don't know why I had that mistaken. My bad. And it's going to be Kelly Splicen on pole, followed by Bob Sk Bob Steffen, Skeeter Farnsworth, Vincenzo Focasato in one of the three cars that Durban Sport Racing has brought this weekend. Michael McKinley rounds out the top five. Earl McDermott uh, making his return to the Farclow Dollar Series, joining his son, has qualified in sixth, leading the uh, three M&J cars. Sean Boyd and Ty McDermott eighth. Michaela Perry-Jones and Rip Tyler round out the top 10 points leader daniel sharp ooh that is a painful lap for him he starts back in 33rd place uh leg ruel making his first fark start since 2012 will start shotgun on the field alongside megan gallagher uh, daniel bouchard 10th in points there is a timeline where he could potentially get very, very close to the points lead because of the special rules for this weekend. And I'm seeing my connection still still sucks. My apologies. So uh, anyway, um, because of how this race works, we'll, we're going to have uh, it's going to be a pair of hundred lap double headers. Anybody who fails to uh, finish race one will not be allowed to start race two and will not score any additional points. Both races pay full points. Their positions will be taken by those who fail to qualify for race one. Whoever uh, whoever scores the fastest lap during race one will start on the pole for race number two. The rest of the race two lineup will be an inversion of the race one finishing order. The Grand Marshal for its driver. Real quick, it was driving me nuts, so I looked it up. Kuznetsov yeah, did win two races last year, but uh, Moncton was won by Yakovsky. Okay, then. Very well. Defending race winner Sergei Yakovsky starts back in the 12th position on the outside of Lance Thomas. Kelly Splicen. And Bob Steffens leading the field to the green today. If these guys behave, uh, we'll get through these races pretty quickly. And there's the green. First if they behave. True. We like tempting fate. Remember that. Remember what I mentioned about how the this track tends to feed cars into the outside wall, mm -hmm. uh, especially on corner exit. That is, uh, that's just how the geom the the this kind of uh, banking geometry works. And yep, someone's um, eating it already. I think. His yellow's out. Caution number one. Kelly Splicen leads the field to Ooh, this the yellow. To turn one. That's Camden Rhodes with his back end all crunched up. Ooh, he got... Got a little help from Rich oh. Roy. And Chris and... Giotta finished him off. For as much as, th as those cars were bouncing around, uh... That was a pretty small accident. I'm pleased yeah, by that. Yeah, I, I think they'll. I think uh, almost everybody will get away with that one. I think the 38 is going to be pretty hurt, but uh, I think other than that, I think the three's got some front end damage, but this isn't the worst place for that.
I don't. I don't see Camden Rhodes coming to the pits yet. So. I don't think. I think they'll. I think most people are going to try to stay out of the pits as much as they possibly can. Because if you pit under caution here, you're going to be almost a lap down immediately. So, if not more than one lap down. Looks like Rich Roy is going to have to come in in the second car for MB Motorsports. Yeah, teammates, to, teammates to uh, Lance Thomas. Yeah, also, the, three car, the three car probably saw something on his gauge he didn't like, and then now we have to pit now. Many questions fielded this weekend on social media involve whether or not Rich Roy is related to Richard Roy who is making her his uh, debut. He is from Quebec, but no, they are not related. I believe that name would be pronounced Wa. Yeah. The... Richard Wa, yes. Yes. Yeah. And um, um, a, Quebec, a uh, Quebecer na na uh, named Wa wearing number 33. Where have we seen that before? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where have we seen that before? Up oh, now they pulled the three car behind the wall, I guess, or something they didn't like. Ooh, yeah, that, yeah. that was almost certainly, uh, almost certainly there was too much damage in that car. Yep, Rich Roy goes out of the race. He's our first casualty. That's going to put Rick Forrest in for round number two. Especially given uh, what uh, that they're uh, cleaning up, they're cleaning up a bit of a mess over there in that pit. So I think. Uh, and I think even if they wanted to try to appeal to the officials that they didn't have that much damage, I don't think they're going to win that argument. Yep, that's right. You pull the car behind the wall, you're done for the weekend. Maybe you shouldn't have crashed. I think I don't think there's too many cases where the uh, where FARC stewards are going to let a car continue like that. Pace car is off. Kelly Splicen will lead them back to the green. Skeeter Farnsworth up to second place. Michael McKinley third. Sean Boyd fourth. And Bob Steffens, our outside pole sitter, rounds out the top five. Battle for fourth. Bob Steffens and Sean Boyd in the new Zing Energy colors. Kelly Splicen up front is facing some pressure. Somebody may have brushed the wall in the uh, further back. Oh, that's Martin in the pits. Tire down on the 48, but if he can get the car back out there, he'll be safe. To advance to round two, car 91 is also in the pits. Golden and out. I don't know why. Maybe they just want to do, uh, have the pit crew admire that car for a moment. I have a feeling those may, the, I have a feeling neither of those stops were of their own volition. They probably ran over something. 97 also came in as well. Yes, Daniel Bouchard, 10th in points. That's not what he wanted. Oh, and that's... Oh, there goes... Oh, the 21, 21 is car. That is not ro what Roberto Crown or Noah Hart wanted either. That's really not like what anyone who just pitted... A... That's really not what anyone who just pitted wanted. Yeah, the 83 got a piece of that too, it looks like. Heartbreaker. So Noah Hart goes up in, into the wall in turn three. Roberto Crown Jr. says, hey, let me help you out with that. And around they go. It's uh, adding insult to injury. Yeah, very much so. 
Lucky Dog is Rheingould, the 91, but he will still be one lap down. Meanwhile, Skeeter Farnsworth has taken the lead. Let's see how that happened. We're in for a bunch of yellows. I think that uh, two laps down will probably not be that much of a death sentence. Uh, it's not good, but... Uh, it's so not no, it's not good, but this is a short track. They'll be uh, they'll be fine. Just remember that at uh, some short tracks, you could be uh, two laps down, and it's happened a lot in the Master Cup Series. Two laps down, you could still be finishing like 11th. We were paying attention to the 48 and 91 in the pits as this was going on, but Skeeter Farnsworth takes the lead. Bob Steffens uh, moves his way up to second place, and Kelly Splicen really fades back. Yeah, she almost ate the wall. She did eat the wall. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Oof. Well, I was talking about before, like a couple lots before oh. that. I was not, she got pretty close to missing it there the second time, though, she hit it. Alright, 91, go get your lap back. This could be a this could be a really big deal for Gould's race. AJ Martin back in the pits. Looks like damage repair. I think he's hit the wall somewhere. Caitlin Tanner Hill and Keegan Mallory have also pitted for some minor repairs. Oh, there's brake issues in the 48 car. Oh yes, you're right. That's a. That's, I think that's what they're. I think that's what they're taking care of. And I don't remember if it was anything that wasn't crash damage. It just means you go to the end of the alternates list. But uh, I think that was at the discretion of FARC officials. So far, Rich Roy's our only casualty, and Rick Forrest will be the beneficiary of that. I well, can look at it this way. Uh, whatever uh, problems he was having uh, getting that car up to speed, they got plenty of extra time to work on it. Yes. And they may not incur so much uh, unnecessary damage by being out there right now. Coming back to green, Skeeter Farnsworth is your leader. Farnsworth has yet to visit Victory Lane in the Far Low Dollar Series. He did finish behind his teammate, Rip Tyler, at Cottenham Farms last year. Tyler won the race. Farnsworth followed him across the line, but he wasn't in second place. He was a lap down, but it still made for a very good picture back at the shop. Ooh, splicing way up the track out of turn two. She may be having some handling issues with that car. Yay. Well, I did mention in the chat earlier, it was like, time to watch Spice and go splat in the wall. Oh, don't go three wide there. You Caution's out again. Wide. You can go three wide around here, it's just you have to, it's just you have to not, uh, you have to be pretty uh, judicious about where you're going. Oh. We got, looks like a pretty major incident oh. involving Gabriel Massena and Kenny Myatt. I think Kenny Myatt's our next casualty. Looks yeah. that way. Another guy with Master Cup, both guys with Master Cup experience in that, uh... Oh, I think he had... Uh, he had, Kenny may have had help. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Ooh, Allie Riggs and Earl McDermott. Uh, Danica Hollifield caught up as well. Ali Riggs, another master, another driver with Master Cup experience. Oh yeah, a uh, somewhat disastrous Master Cup campaign, but afterwards uh, seemed to turn, uh, seemed to work out pretty well for her afterwards. Oh, McDermott got a real big piece of that. 
That might act. The, I'm a, I'm wondering about that 80 car. That 80 might be next on the chopping block. He might not. Yeah, he that they may have to have a good a good look at that one. Uh, 26 is in, 26 is in shambles too. He's waiting on somebody and may need their uh, fart grace control. If the 26 stays on track, they may need to have a uh, a, a penalty cleared, but. Um, Christiana's Spark debut not going that well. Kenny Myatt is out. Maro Adachi is in. We'll see what they do with the 80 car. So all that uh, looking at f There's looking a... looking for a tiebreaker is not going to mean a whole lot. There was another slow car up there too. Welcome back to Fark, Earl McDermott. How's it going? Looks like they're going to get the 26 back on the track. Matthew Spudge doing yeoman work, getting that car squared away. Yep, and yep, they know a lot about that, and uh, short work, it's worked out pretty well for him. Now in the 26 race sim modified. <laughs> yeah. Casey Achenbron is our lucky dog. Skeeter Farnsworth yes. continues to lead, followed by Bob Steffens and Lance Thomas. Sean Boyd and Ty McDermott round out the top five. Great turnaround for m &J Racing after a disastrous round at uh, at Jonesboro. None of their cars finished in the top 20 there. I uh, stepped away for a second. Did anyone else beat the leader to the line to get their lap back? Yes, it was uh, Noah Hart and uh, somebody else. What are you doing, Samantha Mason? Oh, um, why mm. are you sideways? That's not supposed to happen. Did seven car have something break? Um, that car's broke. I think, yeah, I think 27 had a, had a uh, had something break, so. I don't think so. Ch uh, debug doesn't say anything. Tina Turner and Gabriel Massena have also dropped out of the race. I think we're gonna go through that alternates list pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, we got we got nine of them. They may all show up in round two. At this rate. Siege, what would happen if we have more than nine retirements and we use up the list? Well, I got short field. Yeah, we'll have a short field for round two. I think that's what are we excluding mechanical fail like some of the more simple mechanical failures uh including like any any retirement reason you're out of race too yeah in other words you have to finish to break continue racing you have to finish Kelly splicing continues to drop back Either there's something wrong with that car or she's being very smart by just being like Oh, oh we're we got another uh, caution. I pace car. Where do you come from? Oh, I Listen. think I see why. Twenty one, knock it off the line. Might be the ten. Uh, I saw. I think I saw the twenty seven no. smashed up. Oh, that car again. So she came out of the pits. We're gonna watch the twenty seven. Flag. And Is that Riggs and Boop. Matthews getting Oh, to it, the happened a, it happened to it happened to yeah, what it, oh, oh that's why. Yeah, Rig twenty six is done. Yeah, Riggs and Matthews made contact off of two. Yeah, looks Yes. Good. Yeah, Ali was like, I don't care who you are, get out of my way. No, 19 was coming into the pits. <laughs> oh, that's lame. Did they, they must have had a penalty. No, I think that was that may have been a um, call from the from the pit box to 
bring them in before. Uh, I think that was thinking, okay, if this thing runs green for a while, bring them in. But I think that wasn't just the 19 that came in. It was a lot of the cars further down the order. That could be, too. If that car continues to run, I'll be shocked. I think there might be smoke coming out of it. We'll see. Yeah. Weirder and dumber things have happened. Yep, Christiana's out. Yep. Welcome to Fark. Welcome to Fark, Chrissy. Your, your debut lasted 25 laps. Samantha Mason is also out and will not start round two. And also got into a couple of cautions, a couple of cautions too, so... Welcome to the big leagues, Christiana. So Keegan Mallory will be our lucky dog. He almost got it coming to the caution as the leaders had to deal with the limping 26 car. Close quarters sometime, sometimes mean real estate negotiations under these cautions. This displeases me. <laughs> oh, who's being the, uh... Who's being the new... Oh! Might be Mallory, the 21. The no, I think it's 21. the 21. What's he doing? What was he supposed to be doing? Waving around or falling back? I think he's supposed to be in front of the 48 car. Looks like they've got it. Another adventure. <laughs> Looks like they've got it semi-sorted. Yeah, the 23 is supposed to be in front of him, but the uh, and is trying to get around him. Keegan Mallory, if you do not want that wave around. Um, you're free to not take it. I think there's having some issues uh, negotiating traffic because there's not enough space in the in between there, in between both lines to really do that. Well, that's short track racing in NR for you. Hmm. We're gonna go green. I'm back. Hello, Nikki. We're coming to lap 34 of round one. The Dragon Balls worked. Good news, I have Dairy Queen. Good. The 
Vincenzo, you want some? Um, will it melt within the span of the six hour drive? I was just going to, uh, mash the ice cream against the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> AJ Martin, two laps down. Trying to uh, trying to keep it that way in front of the 24. And he's hoping for a yellow like right now. And there you go. He's got one of them back in, in any case. Eighty car in the pits again? Yeah. Why are we under caution? I see Casey Achenbron, MPJ, Ooh. and Lucas Fabian. Oof. You know, I was just thinking. Some of these cars that are like one lap down or whatever, but are like one or two laps down, but restarting in front of the at the front of the field. Just the fact that they're restarting at the front of the field, even if they're one or two laps down, might be the reason they're still in the race. <laughs> yeah. Because they don't have to dodge this. My is in it. There's there's uh, I think it was 36 cars in it. Yep. Kelly Splicen has just dropped through the field like a rock. Probably because she damaged her suspension by hitting the wall. Alright, I think Ryan Gould is our lucky dog. It's gonna put him back in the lead lap. See, Keegan Mallory, that is how you take a wave around. Yeah, and you let you let the other cars blend in on the outside, and then you go around. Uh, I've got a theory of why Kelly is doing what she's doing. She's sandbagging, trying to get like pole on or like second place or something uh, on the next race if she makes it in because the inverse yeah, just, thing. Like, wait for everyone. Wait for everyone else to crash. Yeah. As of now, Bob Steffens has the pole for round two. Whoa. Wait, what is it? Uh, okay. That was weird. Yes. I'll be back in just a minute. It's a good thing we turn on no clip for these cautions. The uh, driver for the 67 is their last name pronounced Mayo. Mayu. Uh, what is that name? Or rather, what's the spelling? JP Mayu. Uh, Maya. Riley Knight started 15th, but she is uh, up to the 5th position right now and holds the 2nd fastest lap, so whatever issues she had in qualifying, she's gotten that sorted out. Tex Gwaltney, her teammate, full-time teammate, needs to pick it up. He is 15th. Yeah! <laughs> I was just talking to Lucas earlier. He was asking me when uh, 
Dolly was going to be racing again. Dolly Gerbert. I told him sometime early next year because there's still some things I need to uh, threaten slash ask Vincenzo and Cooper about. What? Which one's the threat and which one's the ask? <laughs> no, 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 it's both. Oh, oh, boy. Look out. Ouch. And that's only getting worse. But yes, Vincenzo, I still need uh, to know what. Ooh! Still need to know what your choice of uh, track will be for next season. I'm sorry. I swear I haven't forgotten and have been thinking about it the whole time. I just... Am uh, prohibitively indecisive. <laughs> you have thirty seconds. Ah, crap. <laughs> uh. Uh. Nelson Legis. <laughs> I was going on the schedule anyway. Carl's. Also going on the schedule anyway. Hanford. Also going on the schedule anyway. Have we hit 30 yet? <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, for real, I've been trying, just am actually indecisive, so let me know when you need that for real, because I don't want to drag out your plans just <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll pick something yeah, hopefully soon I don't have an ETA on when uh, Arse is going to start up again ideally it would be I think the week after New Year's that's fine take your time New Year's yeah. Day falls on a Monday this year so It'd be the week after. Gotcha, gotcha. Caitlin Tannerhill is our lucky dog. Kerry Fenton is out of the race. So is Lucas Fabian. That brings us up to eight DNFs. One more and all nine... Drivers who failed to qualify for route, round one will get into round two. Speaking of ours, remember to get your sign-ups in. I'd like to start gauging relatively soon um, what the field cap size for each track type should be. Going to export the running order after Tanner Hill cr crosses the crosses the line here. That will be our uh, halfway safety save. All right, provisionally, Skeeter Farnsworth would be the winner. For some reason, Daniel Bouchard is starting in between him and second place Bob Steffens. Lance Thomas is third, Sean Boyd fourth, and Riley Knight rounds out the top five. Uh, would have been Alicia Reyes, but it looks like she's diving into the pits. Oh, engine failure for the for the 11. And Alicia Reyes is out. And there's your and there's your uh, ninth retirement.
here comes Bob Steffens to take the lead with the help of some of the lapped cars. Bobby Scrubbles sure running good today. <laughs> but caution's out again. Ooh, double trouble for Lynx. AJ Martin is all smashed up. Welcome to Fark. Ooh, 06 got out of shape. 48 bounces off of her and takes Rip Tyler up into the wall. And that's your points leader involved, Daniel Sharp. Heavy damage to the 7 car. Oh boy. Lucky Dog is Daniel Bouchard, by the way. They cannot fix it. Daniel Sharp is out in a worst-case scenario for the points leader. Rip Tyler is also out. Taylor will do some apologizing to Daniel Sharp after the race. I'm sure she did not intend to do what she did. Though the Daniel Sharp fans will probably scream foul. Yeah, Taylor Matthews is sitting on a, in a perfect position to capitalize. Bob Steffens, uh, also sitting in a very good position. Let's see where he is in points right now. Yeah, Bob Steffens sits fourth. And he currently leads this race. Although he would not be in position to take the points lead from round one. But with Daniel Sharp being forced to sit out of round two, um, that could change very quickly. Rip Tyler, Bob, uh, Daniel Sharp, and AJ Martin have now dropped out of the race. Oh, and we forgot to give a lap to Daniel Bouchard. I'll do that right now. There we go. Meanwhile, here comes Lance Thomas. Ooh! Bob Steffens tangling with the with Danica Hollifield. Riley Knights upside down. Big pile up into turn one. Leaders are coming around. Coming up on the accident scene. That was bad. What a mess. Taylor presumably asking for a change of clothes after that near miss. We're going to have a look at what happened. So, Lance Thomas tries to use the lapped car of Danica Hollifield. 
to get by Bob Steffens for the lead. Hollowfield slides up the road in turn four. Spun and then yee. <laughs> In the race where everyone needs to save their stuff, there isn't a whole lot of stuff saving going on. No, there isn't. Heavy damage to the 87. I think Riley Knight is obviously out. Let's see what Bob Steffens does. Looks like Todd Stater's in the pit as well. Yes. And Bob Steffens is out. Back in a minute. Todd Stater is out. Riley Knight is out. Let's see Todd Stater's involvement. Uh, okay. So Todd Stater wasn't in that wreck. He's just out. Who the hell's the lucky dog? It's gonna be Daniel Bouchard. So Bouchard will get back on the lead lap. Casey Achenbron and Megan Gallagher are also out of, out of the race. Right now, your running order is Lance Thomas in the lead, Skeeter Farnsworth second, Ty McDermott third, Sean Boyd fourth, Taylor Matthews in fifth. Top, uh, top four cars or top four drivers have never won a race in the Farclo Dollar Series. Engine failure for Tex Gwaltney, so that puts Andy Pearson Racing out entirely for the weekend. God damn it! Chanza, this is your fault. Yes, Vincenzo Focasato has insidiously rigged Tex Gwaltney's engine to explode to get himself 10th place. Samantha Spires is up to 9th. Ryan Gould is 8th. Kelly Splicen has made her way back up into the top 10. She runs 7th, and Michael McKinley is 6th. This will give us 26 cars left in the race. 
or uh, 25. With Bob Steffens and Riley Knight out of the race, Lance Thomas currently holds the pole position for tomorrow. Sorry about that. Green flag back in the air. One third of the distance left. Three, lots of three wide back here. Ooh, Skeeter Farnsworth has hit the wall. Riggs into the back of the 64. And there goes Bison. Yeah, that's heavy damage to the 41. MPJ, I think, is our lucky dog. Ryan Gold is out. JP Mayo is out. Roberto Crown Jr. is out. Let's see what Kelly Splicen, our pole sitter, does. Splicen is out. Oh, well. Kelly Splicen is fifth in points. And Allie Riggs is also out of the race. Lance Thomas continues to lead the way. Followed by Skeeter Farnsworth. Vincenzo Focasato has gotten himself up to third. In all that confusion, Sergei Yakovsky is fourth. Camden Rhodes rounds out the top five. I'd like to point out Sergei Yakovsky is the defending winner of this race. Noah Hart uh, is in sixth. Very, very good run for DSR so far. Uh, MPJ's also gotten herself back onto the lead lap. Ty McDermott, after getting turned around, has uh, hung on to 7th place. Teammate Sean Boyd is 8th. Caitlin Tannerhill is 9th. And Richard Waugh is P10. Taylor Matthews, 2nd in points, is still in the race with uh, Samantha Spires in 12th. 
15 cars are still on the lead lap. Daniel Bouchard, Le Gruel, and MPJ are all the uh, remaining cars on the lead lap. These guys forgot that they need to uh, keep their stuff together for round two, but it's been a very, very destructive start to the Moncton weekend as... Lance Thomas will bring us to 26 laps to go for this restart. Keegan Mallory trying to get himself a lap back. Earl McDermott and um, Danica Hollifield doing the same. Oh, I see uh, Splice is out. Yes, thanks to Alley Riggs. And a big pileup going into turn one. Oh, boy. Noah Hart's going to sneak through to second place. Unofficial. Un uh, shoot. Oh, uh, crap. What was I going to say? Unfortunately, the officials would not let... Splicen's team glue her car back together. As that would be another. Un <laughs> yes, unfortunately, the 41 team was. Especially after the poor party incident. Uh, we got another caution. Car 33 appears to be involved. Maybe a disagreement with uh, Daniel Bouchard. Oh, no, that started in, in front of him. Oh, that, Who's that yeah, spinning? Yeah. Caitlin Tannerhill and Skeeter Farnsworth. And yeah, MPJ looks like she got a piece of that. Tannerhill into the side of the 24 out of turn two. Ooh, that's a big chunk of that for the 86. The 06 get by that? Yes, she did. That's going to put Michael McKinley in the lucky dog position. That might be the end of the race for the 86 and the 24. Right after getting back on the lead lap, too. Yep, MPJ is out. And so is the 24. It's going to be a very thin field for round two. But maybe that will actually be a benefit. Kel uh, Caitlin Tannerhill's also out. Oh, My like Michael McKinley and Richard Waugh are also out. Very, very thin starting field for round two indeed. Sixteen cars will be left in the race. Can we go green to the end? Lance Thomas sits at the front of the field, 
Noah Hart. Uh, up to second, I think. That weight that they took off the car seems to be helping. Noah Hart in just his second Fark Low Dollar Series start. I think we can go caution free! Lance Thomas also looking for win number one. Defending race winner Sergei Yakovsky might have just gotten wiped out. <laughs> oh, Danica Hollowfield had help from Ty McDermott. Uh, Ty McDermott, you caused that caution. No, you're not getting the lucky dog. Wouldn't help you anyway, you'd still be trapped a lap down. Still Lance Thomas in position to take the pole for race two. Looks like both cars in that accident are still rolling. If you're watching on YouTube, I do apologize for the stream quality. I see that resetting the router has not fixed it, but I am recording this race, so I'll just I'll just put the recording up. Okay. Uh, stream quality actually looks good. Welcome back, Cooper. Uh, things have happened. Oh boy. We are down. I see 19 cars out. Oh. oh. We're down to 15 cars. Uh, no. 14. Yakovsky has dropped out. So we're down to 14 cars. That's going to mean a 23 car starting field for round two. At most. Yes, and at most. Not, and, and Farak has not considered waving the, this car is actually hell, this car is actually fine. Just needs a, <laughs> this car could be repaired in 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah. That is correct. They are upholding the rule of you must cross, you must take the checkered flag under your own power. <laughs> Not their fault. Everybody is treating this like a demolition derby. Yeah. Fark officials are also like, yeah, he kind of looks silly, but <laughs> it do be like that. I'm noticing a couple of those cars that are high on the running order were running in. The 38 car was the first caution. He's running seventh now. Okay. Yes. And his teammate. And the 97 was, and the 97 had was two laps down at one point. Yes, he got two lucky dogs in a row. That's all you need. I did say there was a potential timeline where Daniel Bouchard could take the points lead. Um, well, we may have found it. Yes. I'll be back in a second. It's a possible 200-point swing for uh, for the, the whole weekend. Everybody in the standings down to Daniel Bouchard in 10th is within those, the, those, those positions. All right, coming to the restart. It'll be 12 laps to go. Lance Thomas staring down his first Spark victory. Okay, we have word from Ryan Lazarus about Tex Qualke's retirement. I've had a lot of stupid drivers race for me, but not as stupid as Tex Qualke. But it was an it, it was an engine failure. He didn't even crash. 
<laughs> I told Lucas that. That's what I got. I was told explicitly what Richard Childress said about Scott uh, Sheldon Creed. Just copy paste that. <laughs> Battle for second between the DSR teammates. Oh, oh, that was so so hairy. But we keep it going. Camden Rhodes has taken second place. Taylor Matthews behind him. But several lapped cars and a whole lot of distance. Over two seconds between them and race leader Lance Thomas. Camden Rhodes nearly died in his Fark Low Dollar Series debut at Remembrance Field. <laughs> but here he is, running in second place. Teammate Samantha Spires up to third. Samantha Spires has also visited the hospital this season. Um, Focus Autosports not doing a good job of keeping their drivers healthy, but they are fast today. Evan Chenzo. Wherever you are, mute it. Mute land. Taylor's dropping like a rock. But she's still in it. That's what matters at this point. You can go yeah. no lower than 14th. <laughs> I am back. Four That's laps to go. It's your fault. Four laps to go for Lance Thomas. Actually, she could, she'll go no lower than ninth because the next car in Ted is two laps down. Oh, right. Yeah. <clears throat> There's only nine cars on the lead lap. So it will probably be a good points day. Oh, hello. Look at that top five. <laughs> oh, that changed in a hurry. Oh, trouble. Ooh, no heart in the wall. In the... Yeah, no Are they... The wall. I... Yellow flag is out. Yep, we got... Overtime. And it don't matter how long you can push, because it gonna be a green, green white, white checkered. checkered. <laughs> I picked a bad time to step away. Look at look at the team. <laughs> Although it's not over yet, so that's uh That was a yellow that Lance Thomas did not want. Well, he's got a bunch of lapped cars in between him and the second place, Samantha Spires. It might not be all that bad. No! Hearts out of the race from that? He is? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Oh, curses. I, uh... Oh, keep my mouth shut next time. <laughs> Washed up into Sean Boyd out of turn two. When Vincenzo says curses, he really just means beans. Hot <laughs> <laughs> beans. Put him behind the wall. Weak ass, weak ass DNF justification right there. Or something, something went terribly wrong. Uh, Either that with or that light wrong. contact. <laughs> I think Mark Martin didn't pull it behind the wall without realizing the race ain't over. What do you mean we do green white checkers here? Uh, that's we, the only uh, that's the only thing I can imagine. Cause that was we, nothing. Uh, can we uh cancel Vincenzo and TM Cannon for saying <laughs> beans? <laughs> <laughs> Nikki. I that, already That's Nikki. the most that's the most vulgar thing he's ever said. Hey. Back off. I copy-pasted a generic apology note and slightly edited it um, for the relevant words and names to match. So, um, so it's fine. Yeah, that's, uh, that's valid. Exactly. Coming to the restart. That'll, that'll probably get you somewhere in ASCC, who knows. Yeah, it'll get, you, it'll get you into ASCC or a corporate board, one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> or both.
I forgot Ty McDermott was supposed to get the lucky dog. Personally, I'm preferable to the definition of cancel, where instead of, you know, like, social media canceling, you just say, Sorry, no Vincenzo tomorrow, you have to come back. No, no Vincenzo today, you have to come back tomorrow. White flag for Lance Thomas. Oh, look at Samantha Spires making moves, but it is not enough. Lance Thomas, uh, grandson of King Arthur, will will take his first FARC Low Dollar Series victory. The dynasty continues. I was looking to see all the finishers. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Harry Jones is oh, out too. Eight. No! So that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, Siege. No, did... there's more than that. Siege, did you say all the no. DNFs have to sit out race two? Roll down. Yes, you must. You must cross. The f you must take the checkered flag under your own power in order to start race two. Yeah. So, <laughs> Scroll so down. Noah Hart doesn't count. Okay, I just wanted to make sure there wasn't someone that finished like with well, that was like 102 laps down or whatever sitting yep. in the pits. Yeah, closest to which honestly, which honestly might not have been a terrible strategy. <laughs> so yeah. 13 plus the nine that we're in the reserve. We'll run race two. The field size is going to be reduced um, by half. I have a question. Yes. Are we are we teching this? Yes. <laughs> I think just about every car running probably could get the damage exception. <laughs> I was gonna say this. I mean, this is the nicest of ways. This series is, like, bottom split. <laughs> bottom split, but offline and R. They don't mean it. I assure you. Is this... Is this my first podium at a not-super speedway? It could be. I don't think I've ever done that in FARC. <laughs> Blake Gruel, after running like, like crap in his long-awaited FARC return, uh, picks up all the pieces and finishes 8th. Daniel Bouchard is uh, is going to have a very, very good uh, good weekend for his point situation. Taylor Matthews, I think, is going to take the lead for sure. Yeah, I think the the scenario where Daniel Bouchard is, is the points leader, it probably may not happen, but it's going to be close. <laughs> It's gonna be closer than anyone thought it was gonna be. Yeah, uh, that that team has had a pretty heroic campaign so far. Yeah, I'll be right back. So, there's your top ten, at least as they came across the line. We're gonna do room of doom in a moment, and then set the field for race two. Don't go away. back in a minute. I see that dropped frame percentage going down. Hopefully we're okay connection-wise. The Discord stream has a robust, is running at a robust 720p 15 FPS. Oh, I don't care about the Discord stream. That's that's just how you yeah. guys you guys see it in real time. Yeah, a couple times I popped into the uh, YouTube stream to look at it. It looks it's been looking pretty good. Yeah, I've just had a lot more hiccups than I would like. Hmm.
All right, folks, I think we all know what time it is now. Time for Room of Doom. Very appropriate that this is Halloween week, being Halloween being tomorrow. Hell yeah. Well, uh, well LA, LA st in the timeline we are observing from, in the FARC timeline, it is still June 2021. True. All right. Rip Tyler, our 10th place finisher, is first up in the tech line. It is a 12 for Tyler safe. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I was looking at the qualifying standings. Never mind. Yeah, we'll just pretend that role was Keegan Mallory's. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. Keegan Mallory's safe. He's He finished three, three laps down. He doesn't need any more misery. Yeah, it, it, so you can thank Rip Tyler for roll, rolling him a good roll. Ty McDermott, ninth place finisher, is up next. Uh, by the way, if anybody gets disqualified here, they will still start round two, but from the back, since they crossed the finish line. And Ty McDermott is safe. Le Gruel, welcome back to FARC. We do post-race inspection now. You're up next. And it's a 17. Le Gruel is safe. Oh, Siege, you might want to reset your uh, chat in between races. Apparently it's not, your little applet isn't working. Uh, has anybody said anything in the chat? On the YouTube uh, side. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Crap. Yeah, and we saw, and the stream saw none of it. I just saw that. I was like, oh dear. Okay. We'll get that fixed for race two, folks. Uno momento. I apologize for, uh, for the inadvertent censorship of the YouTube chat. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm going to catch up on on anything anybody said. Uh, Rain confirms. Dirt ha Pen has dirt experience. Putting other cars into it on the road courses. Kath has also shown up. Uh, Dave asks what happens if there's no DNFs. Um, I don't think the answer to that question is relevant anymore, but if oh, there, if yeah. there, if there had been no DNFs, then everybody started round two and everybody would have started round two and the alternates would have been, uh, left, left empty handed. Yes, Echo River is on the outside looking in. Well, was. Uh, Trek says, I said, I don't think Theodore has gotten very far this season. Unfortunately, no. Kath uh, confirms that Echo River is from Portland, Oregon. Thank you very much. Come up to the burger stand, get a shuttle cola, watch the fireworks on track. Do they do poutine in New Brunswick, Rain asks. 
Wonder if you could put that in a burger somehow. Would be fun to try. I'm sure Grease Burgers uh, Canadian locations do that. Yeah, I've seen... Poutine is a general Canadian thing. It's not just one particular province versus another. Because I've seen poutine sold in McDonald's in both Quebec and in um, Ontario. McPoot. Um, I might try that, it, given the opportunity. It probably won't. All, uh, all I need is really... All you really do need seeds to duplicate it is some uh, beef gravy, melted cheese, and then french fries. You just throw it all together. Yeah. It's it, basically poutine. Very well. Nitro enters the chat, asks, is today McDermott Monday? Yes, it is. Uh, Jared uh, asks, hello, what did I miss partway through the race? Um, a lot of people are going to be missing round two. Uh, all right, back to Rumba Doom. Now that I have acknowledged everybody who so, so kindly, um, entered their messages into the wind. Camden Rhodes. Sat second for a few laps, faded to seventh. Still a very good result for Rhodes in an eventful debut season. And he is safe with an 11. Yeah, poutine rain is more of a side dish than it is a uh, thing you would throw on something. Daniel Bouchard, our sixth place finisher, is up next. It is a 16. Daniel Bouchard is safe. And now we break out the D10 as we enter the top five. Sean Boyd is up next. And it is a four. Sean Boyd is safe. I believe... Uh, is this his first top five? Uh, I don't know. Taylor Matthews has the die now. Our fourth place finisher. It is a five. Taylor Matthews is safe. Happy face. Vincenzo Focasato, third place finisher, is up next. It is a an eight. Vinny is safe and will be the only DSR car moving on to round number two. Big and, Sedge. And now we get out the D8 for our top two. We introduced this at, uh, at the ASCC race at Kentucky last week. Samantha Spires, our runner-up is up next. Lucky seven for Samantha Spires. And now your winner, Lance Thomas. What does the die have to say? Uh-oh. They found something on the 23. 
Oh no! Oh no! I was just thinking to myself, watch him roll a one, and there it is. Oh, good grief. It looks like that speed out of the 23 was a little too good to be true. Let's see what the penalty is. We're going to roll our d6 here. You see the uh, our helpful penalty guide on the bottom right. What did Rich say a little bit ago about the team wanting to make sure that Thomas looks better than him? Hmm, yeah. there might be something to that. It is a 50 a 50 point penalty for Lance Thomas, but he keeps his first Fark low dollar series victory and the poll for tomorrow. Tomorrow takes place in a few minutes by the way. Uh don't go anywhere. We're going to get this mess sorted out. He got fastest lap too. Uh, yes, last I checked, I will check the replay, just to confirm. Kef, um, a penalty would not eliminate, uh, a disqualification would not have eliminated anybody from round two. They would just have had to start in the back. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to sort out the field for round two. You're in luck. I just went somewhere. And I'm back. Gonna check the replay, see if Lance Thomas does indeed win the poll. Actually, no, screw that. Do you think he should start in the back? Yeah. Send him to the back anyway. Okay. Yeah, Lance Thomas will now have to start in the back. Sorry, man. Uh, do we give the poll to the next fastest lap that uh, of the drivers who actually finished? Who would have that have been? Um, oh, that would be... um, is there a? Is there one? I think is... is the better question. It might be Keegan Mallory. I was gonna say, are there any bonus points for poll? Yes, five. And would they be awarded to the next fastest lap of the race? Or at that point, is there just no pull bonus for this upcoming round? We're gonna give it to the next fastest lap. So, congratulations! Keegan Mallory has won the pull for round two.
I understand that uh, the 83 team of Noah Hart is appealing to the officials. They did not drop out. They're saying they did not drop out due to crash damage or a mechanical failure. They did not know that the race was going to go to overtime, and they uh, they parked. They they thought they were. They they thought the race had finished. Is this Hart's second start? Yes. Yeah, he might not have been familiar with that rule. Eh. Eh. Ignorance is not an excuse. Ignorance is, in fact, an excuse. In this case, if it benefits me. <laughs> <laughs> Ted for a driver. <laughs> As Homer Simpson once said, if I can't hear you, it's not illegal. <laughs> if I don't see it, it's not illegal. I think for moments like this, I'm going to have a, uh, a stream music playlist and just have that run throughout. I started putting I like one. I started, I started gathering up some tracks. Play some of my... <laughs> Play Nikki's music. Yeah, I, I was contemplating whether or not I should go through with that sentence, but Vincenzo <laughs> finished it for me. <laughs> hey, if you'd if you'd like, send it my way. It's on YouTube. It's like emo, noise rock, kind of post hardcore. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if it's the most appropriate for uh, this, but. I'd be happy to represent. Hell yeah. If this channel can get away with saying beans, then it can get away with anything. <laughs> <laughs> ah, crap, I said it again. Cancel him twice! <laughs> <laughs> Where's that apology note template? <laughs> Just take Kyle Larson's apology and, uh, Change some shit on it. There you go. <laughs> Post a cutout. Post a still image cutout of my face over his. <laughs> <laughs> and, and edit nothing else. In, inst in any instances in which he speaks someone anyone's name i'll replace it with like a robotic text to speech of the correct name welcome to the starting field of round number two maro adachi rick forrest phyllis theodore echo river tina anderson john burr gary miles penn harrington and jason richardson those nine drivers failed to qualify for round number one but because of the um situation in round one, they're easily going to start round two. 22 cars will start the race. Yeah, but... the, sorry, does that include the 83 car? No, that team lost their appeal. Big Sedge. Yeah, but see, going back to the music thing for a second... I am in no shortage. I am in. I have no shortage of a uh, deep cut uh, bands from years ago that everyone probably forgot about it already. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> All right. You can also just pull from. You can also just pull from the YouTube audio library. That that way you don't get in trouble for stream. Yeah. Yeah, I've I have some shit up on his channel. I think Casey does yeah. too. Yeah, the requirements would be I have the rights to play it on YouTube. Uh, 
All right, got the roster together. Gonna run through qualifying. The Grand Marshal. It is still cloudy for round number two, but I did tone them down a little bit in the I and I. The Grand Marshal for today's race is about to give the command to get underway. I have a uh, kind of non sequitur question, but maybe I'll save it for when Cooper gets here or gets back. I'm going to try to stick this out, but I uh, suddenly am not certain if I'll be able to. Dead jet lag. Oof. Oh yeah, did you did you legit go to Italy? Uh, got back this weekend. Nice. Did you have fun? It was. Uh, I'm just trying to think of more specific words than this, but yes, it was very fun. Good. It was a very wonderful time. Do they cook the pizza and the pasta? I, in fact, had a pizza when I was there. It was really fun, because I basically got surprise dinners every time we dined out. Oh, nice. Because I was like, I don't know what this means, but let's order it and see what they, uh, <laughs> see what they bring out for me to eat in 20 minutes. And I'm not joking, that was... I, I legitimately enjoyed that. <laughs> Got to see family. And, uh... They gave... They toured us all over the place in the very short window that we actually had uh, to see them. They were very, very, very hospitable for... Having never met us before. And if any of you ever get the chance to go there, there are so many varieties of risotto, and they are all so good. <laughs> setting the lineup right now if you're on the if you're watching the discord stream you can see this if you're on youtube you cannot we had layovers in france and i never get opportunities to actually use the french that i studied for so many years so that was actually kind of fun for me or exciting for me where was Except your layover uh, Charles de Gaulle. Oh, Paris. Okay. C. C. We. <laughs> but, but yeah. Um. Unfortunately, every time I tried to use it, uh, the moment they detected the extremely thick American accent, they just defaulted to English. I'm like, yeah, crap. <laughs> yeah, but at least I mean, they get at least they give you the they gave you the A for effort. Indeed. I was just hoping to try it a little bit more, and it, it is accommodating of them to, you know... Yeah, because from what I understand, at if you at least make the effort to try to speak to them, they won't treat you like shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I know it's something that's appreciated. Alright. We are just about ready to go for round number two. Oh, crap. I never really cared for, uh, 
language classes when I was in school. I could barely speak English. You expect <laughs> me to speak another language? Uh, oops. I still had green white checkers on and the race is two laps. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. We I just only had two options. And so did we. <laughs> French hey, and Spanish. So we're we've been running a bit long, uh, as it is. How would everyone feel if we picked up race two another time? Yeah. Fine with me. I'm I would I'd be in favor of that. Very well. Uh, thank you all for joining me. I think we're going to call it here. But I, but uh, first, we're going to tally up the points from round one. And look at what the potential damage will be after round two. Hang on another moment. Whoops. And yeah, Nikki, that's a big, big problem with uh, uh, teaching students a second language. If you wait until they're older than like 10 or 11, then, then it's too late. <laughs> Rain. Pen has more time to charge up their punt power. <laughs> oh no, Rain. <laughs> no, yeah, Vincenzo, I had... Even when I was in elementary school, we were being taught Spanish, but... Oh. Not... It what? wasn't, like, something that entirely stuck with me. And I understand be... some Spanish. I can't speak it. And obviously, I have no idea how thorough it was or wasn't. There, that that curriculum was for the grade schoolers that you're talking about. But yeah, I think it's around that age ish where kids lose their ability to learn languages just by pure exposure, without having to really try or put any effort into it. And beyond that point, the only way to learn a new one is to do it the hard way. <laughs> My sister used uh, some apps to try and learn some rudimentary Italian for like the last 12 months straight before this vacation, but she has such little time to put towards it, and it's it doesn't involve the opportunity to do speaking practice or any type of immersion, so there wasn't uh, there was only so much she could get out of it.
All right. Uh, someone make up a penalty for uh, a penalty reason for Lance Thomas. Unauthorized mobile device found in car. <laughs> that which in real life hit, which in real life happened. Hi, Brad Keselowski. No, no, no. <laughs> Do what they did to fucking Alexander Rossi in that one uh, indie GP. They were where they were using the water bottle as ballast. Oh, I like mine better. All right. Uh, yeah, Lance Thomas penalized 50 points for having his phone in his car. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the standings. I, I was... <laughs> I was just shown the chat for goodness sake rain <laughs> too slow entering pit lane yeah ah. <laughs> all right taylor matthews has taken the points lead and uh that's that's a whole lot of people down to fifth place who will uh who will not be gaining any more points danica hollifield has a great opportunity here, as do Ty McDermott and Daniel Bouchard. Man, this weekend's going to hurt for a lot of people. Yeah. And uh, tune in next time to round number two, just to see how much it will hurt, as 22 cars will, uh, will finish things up at Moncton. I'm Charlie Gearhart. I also answered a siege for whatever reason. And thank you all for joining me. Yay. Thank Yay. you, Charlie. Yes, siege thank you. Art.